In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to creating a custom party of up to four party members. This is a feature that's currently not available in Baldur's Gate 3 as of patch six and early access, but it will be available at the very latest on the game's official launch. As of right now, you have to do kind of a workaround and it's really not that hard to do. I'm just trying it for the first time ever as of today and I wanna make sure I share it with some of you guys. Doing this will allow you to level up multiple classes at the same time. You don't have to do another playthrough to try another class and you can also just try some crazy combinations like having four fighters in your group or three clerics and a sorcerer and stuff like that without further ado let's jump right in just so you guys know this will work on steam and gog alike they're very similar steps and i'll show you here in a second but speaking of gog i have teamed up with them to bring you guys some future discounts on games and anytime i have a discount i'll let you know on the discord server or on some of my videos and also anytime you're going to purchase a game on gog if you click my affiliate link below in the video description any game you purchase within seven days will actually support the channel so any of you guys that do that thank you very much i appreciate it it's definitely going to help me continue to stay away from those sponsorships that I don't want to take that I haven't been taking. So thank you. All right, now let's get into the guide. The only thing you have to know when you start this up is if you're playing on the default Vulcan or on DirectX 11, you make that choice when you start up the Larian launcher. Um, I'm playing on DirectX 11 right now because the game runs a bit better for me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on multiplayer. And then I'm going to switch over to the LAN tab right over here on the top of the screen. And in the bottom of the left, you're gonna go ahead and click on create because we're gonna start up our own party here. All right, so as you can see right here, this is my lobby and we're gonna fill this slot up with our custom party members and we're gonna fool the game into thinking that it's our friends playing or, or something like that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is click on direct connections and then you're gonna copy to clipboard the server ID right here. And then next we wanna bring up Steam or GOG, depending on which one you're using. We'll do Steam first. And the easiest way to run another version of Baldur's Gate 3 is just by going to Steam, uh, right clicking on Baldur's Gate 3 in your library. And then you can simply go to manage, browse local files, and that'll bring you to this folder right here. You don't have to do it through Steam. You can do it um, through your program files or, or however you wanna get here. And then you're gonna click on the bin folder and then look for BG3, the application. And I have two versions right here. One is Vulcan, and the second one is DX11, which is why I told you guys to remember which one that you're running. And I'm running DirectX11. Now all you have to do is simply click on BG3, and it's going to bring up another instance of the game. If you're playing on GOG, the easiest way to run multiple instances is by right clicking on Baldur's Gate 3 when you have GOG opened and then go to manage installation show folder and then the same thing you're going to click on bin and then just double click on whatever one you're running Vulcan or DirectX 11 everything else is the same. And here we go on your second instance of the game you're going to go ahead and click on multiplayer and then make sure you're on the LAN tab and then instead of clicking create we're going to go down to direct connect. And then I'm going to control V to paste that um, code that we copied earlier and then hit accept. And this should bring us into the lobby with the first instance of the game that I'm running. And now you can see um, this is the first instance of the game that we brought up and this is the second one. One thing I would recommend doing for most of you guys is before you do this, go to your video option settings and turn the game to low graphical settings because when you're running multiple instances of the game, it's going to take up a lot of computer resources. Some of you guys might not even be able to do it. I would imagine most of you can at least run two or three and get a party of two or three on the low settings. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do that same exact thing one more time. I'm going to go right back to Steam, um, right click on Baldur's Gate 3, manage, browse local files, bin, and then we're going to click on BG3 DX11. And now the computer is going to start running a bit slower. Yep, as you guys can see, it's now lagging. I didn't turn down the graphics myself. I'm not following my own advice. <laughs> and then you're going to go right back to multiplayer, LAN, direct connect in the bottom right, control V to paste that code that we copied in the beginning. All right, so now you can see we have three custom people in our group right now. And what you want to do is click on ready. And then you're going to I'm going to hit the Windows key and bring up the second instance of the game down here. And then I'm going to click on ready. And then we're going to go back to the first instance of the game. And then we can simply launch the game. Um, don't worry about this. This keeps popping up because I'm running mods right now. 
and I'm assuming most of you guys are probably not running mods. And you'll also see that I have the Paladin and Monk class, which are mods that I'm trying out. Uh, future video coming on that very, very soon. So most of you guys won't have the Paladin and the Monk, so don't worry about that. All right, so now I can just create a uh, custom party of three and do whatever classes I want. So what I want to do is I want to do a video on the Paladin and the Monk, but I don't want to do two separate games and have to run through the story again. So my first character is going to be a Paladin. I'm not going to worry about um, messing with any of this for the video. And then we're going to venture forth. And then it says waiting for others. So now I'm going to hit the Windows button and come down here and bring up the second instance of the game. And then with this one, I'm going to click on my Monk class, venture forth. And that one's waiting for others. And then I'm going to go to the third instance of the game. And for this one, actually with this mod that I'm running, I can play the origin characters. So we'll have a starry on for this one. <laughs> and then I'm going to venture forth. And then on this version, it should start right up and it's gonna start up really slow and laggy most likely all right so that loading screen took like five to ten times longer than it typically takes on my computer but that doesn't matter because once we've created this party the game is going to run great we just have to bear through the initial steps where it's going to be laggy all right so now as you can see i have my paladin character tab number one and then i'm going to go on to my second instance here and this one should be the monk class Oh, nope, that's Astarion. I have them mixed up a little bit. So here's our custom Astarion, and then, or our origin character Astarion. And then if I go to the third instance, we should have the monk class. And there she is. So now we have a custom party of three, and then we could fill the open slot with a companion. The only thing you have to do after this is I would go back to the first instance of your main character, and I would save the game. And then you can simply exit out of the other two and then the game should start running really well again and you can up your graphics back to ultra quality the saves also take extra long when you're running multiple instances all right save successful now i'm just going to simply close out of the other two and go back into our main character and you can see it says player left and now once everything closes out the game should start running good again and now i can switch over and take control of what the game thought was my friends, but it's actually me just running three instances of the game and now only one. So there you go. So now you can create a custom party of four if you want to do four, if your computer can handle the initial steps. Um, and this is a really cool way to not have to keep replaying the story. I know a lot of people are a little burned out with playing Act 1 and, and everything like that. But now maybe some of you guys will want to come back. Perhaps Larian will add this into an upcoming patch. It'll definitely be in the game on the official release. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll make sure to do some more higher production value videos coming up soon. But this is a video that I should have done a long time ago. And here it is. Enjoy. Enjoy.